And today I want to show you this SSD enclosure that you can hook up to your computer and actually put SSDs in this and use it as a drive. But it's got a lot more to it than that. This is a cloning tool. That's right, if you need to copy an SSD, you can just put the blank SSD in here. You can put the one that needs to be copied in here. You can hit one button. It's gonna make a copy of that drive at 40 gigabytes per second and give you an exact copy of the drive. How cool is that? So before I talk about it too much, I'm gonna go ahead and point the camera down. We're gonna unbox it, take a closer look at it, and then I'm gonna show you how it works. So let's get to it. All right, so here it is comes in this nice compact package let's see what all we get in here so of course you will get a manual you're gonna have a USB to USB type C but this also has a built on adapter it looks like that's right so it can also be a USB C to USB type C here is a power supply and here is the cloning tool itself. Now, I do plan on using this to put two four terabytes SSDs in here that's gonna give me eight terabytes of storage and just hook this to my computer. But if I do need to clone a drive, I can just simply open this up and you plug the two SSDs in. You hit the button on top here and it's gonna make a copy for me. How cool is that? So if you need to back up or save data, this is going to be a great tool for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on and we will go over what this is compatible with. I'm gonna show you the end right here. You can see this is where your 12 volt plugs in. This is your off on switch. This is the clone button and this is the port that you would hook up to your computer. It does have little rubber feet on the bottom here so it's anti-skid and then right here is your indicator and these lights will light up as it goes from 25 50 75 to 100 percent complete so it actually gives you an led readout as to when the cloning is done and not done and the cool thing about the cloning tool is it doesn't have to be hooked up to a laptop all you do is you hook it up to power put them in hit the button no computer needed to clone as I said, each slot will provide 20 gigabytes per second of transfer speed. So that's 40 gigabytes in total. And it does connect with USB 4. It does have built-in cooling. You can see the little cooling fan right there to keep those SSDs nice and cool. Now this is for PCIe, NVMe SSDs, B and M key and M key. It will not work with SATA SSD or PCIe AHCI SSD. And you can install 2230s, 2242s, 2260s, up to 2280 SSDs in here. And what those numbers are, basically the links. And you would move these little pegs, depending on how long your SSD is, to hold it in nice and secure. And they just plug into the top here. So now that we've gone over all that, I'm actually going to clone an SSD for you live and in person. So I'm going to set that up real quick, and we're going to see how well it works. And as I'm getting ready to load my SSDs in there, I want to show you that the way you know which one is which is you can see on the bottom you have an S and a T. S is the source. That's the one that you want to copy. And T is the target, the one that you're copying to. All right, so we have everything we need here. First, we're going to connect the source. We're going to plug it in, push it down, and then we'll use one of these little pegs provided. Insert it in the hole to lock that drive in place. And then we're gonna take our target, one we wanna to copy to, plug it in, push it down, connect the peg. We can reinstall our door, just like that. Now we're gonna connect our power supply. We're gonna turn it on. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's some little lights on in there. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lower the light a little bit so you can maybe see the LEDs better. And what we're going to do is, I'm going to hold this down. Release it. It's cloning and it's done just that quick. Now this drive, I will 
I will say that it didn't have very much data on it. It was a brand new drive out of computer, so basically it had Windows on it. And that's probably why it went so fast, but that's how fast and easy you can clone drives. So if you're looking for a dual bay duplicator slash cloning tool or SSD drive, this would be a great option for you. Like I said, I do a lot of pictures, a lot of videos, and I can put eight terabytes of storage in this, plug it in my computer and just use it as storage. And then if I want to, if I fill that up, I can take those SSDs out and I can put more in and I can just get a log of SSDs. And it's a pretty cheap and reasonable way to store your photos and your videos in a safe way because SSDs have no moving parts. So they're technically not going to wear out anytime soon. I hope this video helps and thanks for watching.